What's up, YouTube? The last time you guys saw the Pyro build, uh, it looked a little something like this. I don't remember what the stats were, but I'll show them off at the end of the invasion because I've just started doing that. Uh, it works out well. We were using the Warhawk Talon straight sword. I really liked those R2s. Uh, we've got the Flaming Strike Ash of War put on there, and that gives us the ability to, to scale the weapon with Faith, which was our highest damage stat. I think at the time it was at 30 or around 30. Then we had uh, Catch Flame, Flame Sling, um, but I didn't have a lot in the way of spells. Hey, here's a quick invasion tip for you. At a certain point, if you're being chased by dudes, you just have to turn around and hit them. It's so tempting, I know, to like just run away and, you know, heal until you can try and find that perfect moment. The perfect moment is never coming. Just turn around and hit them. I, and that's not like me, you know, I still do it too. But I always try and like, you know, uh, willfully break myself out of it and actually just turn around and hit some dudes when they're chasing me. All you gotta do is hit them a couple times, and if you do enough damage that they have to heal, then you don't have to fight two dudes anymore. And look how quick, look how quick two dudes turns into one dude, if you just turn around and hit them, you know? So I think at this point, this build was like at what, like level 40 or 50 or something like that? Um... Catch Flame is really, really, really good. Uh, flaming Strike is really good. And, uh, you know, if you hit Flaming Strike just right, it true combos. Um, but you have to hit towards the end of Flaming Strike. Basically, the Flaming Strike needs to be about over when it hits. That way, they... Uh, I've fast-forwarded here for obvious reasons. I enjoy this. The Flaming Strike has to hit, like, at the end of its fire hitbox for it to true combo. It's not going to true combo every time, that's my point. Um, but we made this build as a, a sort of throwback to the build that I love to make, um, which uses uh, Black Flame and a straight sword, and the whole point of the build is to try and find a way to true combo those things, or at least make them good. Well, we did that. That was the build. That's what it looked like before. And then I was said I was going to start using um, this uh, God Slayer's Freight Sword. And so I did. However, this thing was just not working. It just was not working at level 80. Um, not enough damage to justify carrying around this thing. Um... But this is an you know this is an interesting part of making a build, uh, you know you you watch a YouTube video people talk about you know builds in these games, and they'll explain why things work. But why does stuff not work? What, you know I wanted to know I wanted this to work because in Dark Souls Three I used the Onyx Blade on this version of the build, and this is like the closest thing to the Onyx Blade that I can use. There is a weapon that's obviously closer. Um, but, you know, uh, in far, as far as, like, this build goes, this was the one. And this is a colossal greatsword. This is, a, you know, if you're a Dark Souls 3 player, or, you know, Dark Souls player, this is essentially a uh, ultra greatsword, right? That Ash of War, it does damage. But, uh, the regular hits, not so much, not so much damage on the regular hits. So this is what the build looked like. It had 39 Faith, 20 Strength, 22 Dex, and 40 Vigor. And it wasn't working. Well, why wasn't it working? Well, let's take a look at the God Slayer Greatsword, and uh, let's see why it wasn't working. This thing requires 20 Strength and 22 Dex, and most of its damage is actually physical. 
the faith scaling, and it, it, it takes 20 faith, so you would think, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good amount. But most of its damage is coming from physical. You can see there, 222 uh, versus the only 143 fire. When you use that Ash of War, um, the Queen's Black Flame, I'm sure there's a huge faith modifier on that particular attack. That's the way these games work. Certain attacks use your faith uh, stat for the to modify the damage. But in terms of like regular attacks, R1, R2, rolling R1, that's all coming from strength and dex. This is essentially a quality weapon in hiding. And I didn't know that until I played with it. And then I figured it out real quick. So I thought, okay, it's not going to work. And it weighs 18 units, 17 and a half units. Um, I've had to like mess my whole build up just to try and use this thing. That weapon requires like a specific type of build. And that's just not the build I was going for here with what we're doing. So I thought, well, let's keep it simple. Let's, we'll just ditch that. So I gave myself 16 strength and 10 dex very low uh and and i was able to get my faith back up to around 50 somewhere uh as well as give myself more hp as well as move my talismans around and make them more efficient and now we just have a better build also i went and found some spells uh like giant's flame take thee and uh hey guess what it hurts that spells awesome I also got the uh, the flame seal, which boosts incantations that are fire. So like the fire giants and the fire monks incantations are increased if you use the flame seal. And uh, it rolls. Still have flaming strike on the Lord Sworn Great Sword. We're using the Lord Sworn Great Sword. Uh, and I've also got a short sword, which also has flaming strike on it. Um, no shield, no parries. Uh, as of right now, anyway. Um, but I've got... Uh, we're running Radigan's Icon for faster cast speed. The Crimson Medallion for more hit points. Um, we're running uh, the Two Fingers uh, Talisman for five points in faith. And um, I forget what the last one is. But, uh, yeah. So now this is the build. A very simple build. Um, that allows us to take advantage of pumping points into faith, doing damage with spells, and casting those spells quickly, and it's awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, sometimes things just don't work out. The God Slayer Greatsword just didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, but the Lord Sworn Greatsword and the Short Sword working out just fine. Having a blast. Flame of the Fell God is another one. I love this spell so much. It is perfect for area denial, but I'm not much of an area denier. Uh, I believe in all areas. But what I do like to do is set up Flame of the Fell God as a sort of landmine and try and true combo attacks into Flame of the Fell God. You'll see exactly what I mean right here. Okay, maybe not right there. You'll see it later, I promise. In that occasion, Flame of the Fell God just killed that guy because he walked into it. <laughs> so, 45 Faith, 42 Vigor, 19 Mind, uh, which is, you know, uh, that's a few levels into FP. Um, but I don't feel like they're wasted because we cast spells and we use our Ash of War a lot. All of these invasions now, this build is finished, by the way. We're at level 80, that's it, he's done. Um, got a level 80 invader. That was a very nice play right there by my opponent. That was very good. Now, I've still got some game left to play. So there might be some more weapons or skills or something that I come across that I decide that I like and that I want to have. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Giant's Flame Take Thee is so good. If you have not played 
a uh, like a fire slinger in Elden Ring yet. Um, I can absolutely confirm that it is a blast. Uh, playing the game is fun, and PvP is fun. I've had a blast with both. Catch Flame is perfect for these situations where you're trying to like chase a guy down and finish him off. Catch Flame is fast, boy. You can use it as a running attack. You can use it as a mix-up, and it's faster. Uh, like if you actually attack... Um, and then use Catch Flame, it, it comes out faster. You can use, you can make trades with Catch Flame. Um, obviously, that's going to be dependent. <laughs> There's some stuff you probably don't want to trade with. Uh, but, you know, uh, in a situation like that where I'm doing more damage than my opponent and I'm not about to bleed out, uh, it's absolutely fine. I really, I, I cannot, I cannot express how much I enjoy playing this build. When things work and I get off all these fancy fire combos and stuff, um, it's just the best feeling in the world. I love it. Um, it's great. It's great. I'm, uh, I'm messing around with like heavy attacks, do heavy attacks, true combo into flaming strike. Can flaming strike, can flaming strike into catch flame be a roll catch? Things like that. There's no end of stuff for me to try, and that's my favorite thing about learning a new build is like all the stuff I can try. Building up that familiarity with the build, and that's one of the things like, you know, a lot of times PvP dudes, you'll see like, you know, streamers, people on YouTube, whatever. They just get a bunch of stuff, like, dropped for them, and, um, and that's fine if you just know you're just, you know, wanting to PvP, like, but for me, personally, um, playing through the game with these builds is a big part of why I end up liking them so much. It's part of the reason that, you know, like, that, that, that experience of playing through the game with them, I love that. And it, it makes me appreciate the character and the build all that more. It's less about, you know, just some numbers on a stat sheet. And more about, like, okay, I'm going to play this guy. I'm going to play this character. And, uh, yeah. It just, it's, it's a lot of fun. The Ash of War that, that Phantom is using, I've been recommended that for this build. Um, I might mess around with that. I, I, I'll have to remember where to find it. Um, but, yeah, we can do that. Oh, currently in my flask, by the way, uh, I currently have 50% um, FP re regeneration and um, flame attack up. So when I drink my physic, my wondrous physic, it's doing that. Right here I get stuck in this terrible crevice. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to do, so I panic, and I just use the phantom finger, and look where I respawn. <laughs> this, in, this, is, this is the best. Oh, by the way, we used uh, Burn O Flame, which is basically Firestorm, and I am so happy to announce that Firestorm is good again. Oh, I'm, thank you. Also, I mean, like, even in PvE. You can use it to, like, just melt bosses. It's hilarious. You can, Like, if a boss is slow and big, you can just walk up to him, cast Burno Flame, and just melt him. Hit him with an oil pot, and then do it. Anyway, I killed the Phantom. I have no idea where this host has gone. I look around for this host. It took me, like, I don't know, like, a minute and a half to find him. He fell in the same place I fell earlier, and he doesn't know how to get out. But I know how to get him out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the invasions. There will be more of this guy later on. Until then, later y'all.